guys. Um, this is a library video, but it's not a haul because, well, I only got one book. Um, but I did learn a couple things. Sorry, that fell down. Um, while I was there. There, um, let me take a picture of a thing. When you go into Libby, which is a library thing, um, you can access other uh, library groups. Like, we're in C.W. Myers, which is Central Worcester something. And um, you can access the Cape, which is Clams, uh, Boston, seven altogether. So that's pretty cool. Oh no, see if you might Central Western, I forget, but anyway, I got this book. I also put a hold on the race horses on Main Street because they, um, because <coughs> it was out and overdue, so. Let's see. I need to load a little bit. Um, I figured out how to blow up the, um, Oh, I want to thank Elizabeth. Make sure I get her name right. Gonzalez for uh, subscribing and interacting so much. These. I can make them full size. The way that I do that, or at least a lot bigger, is take a picture of them with my tablet blow them, you know, blow them up, so, how do I explain this, take a picture of the whole page with my tablet, blow it up, you know, with my fingers on the tablet, save that, you know, like, outline the, not blow it up, outline just the pattern part, and that'll take up the whole screen, then print it, it'll print it the size of an entire sheet of paper. So, but I got my information from the bank that I Direct Express requested, and in an hour I'll have to walk back down there. I was only killed an hour at the library. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I did at the library. Okay, C.W. Myers is, okay, I'll tell you the, um, library groups that are part of it, that are part of Libby, that you can use for ebooks. Let me, he had me take a picture of the poster. Okay. Clams, Minuteman Library Network, Merrimack Valley Library Network, Noble, Old Colony Library Network, Sales, S-A-I-L-S, and Boston Public Library. So yeah, that that's cool. So I can't wait <laughs> to sit down with my tablet tonight, reload my Libby, put those in, see what I can find. So I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna plug this in. I do have to eat. Um, maybe if I eat, watch an episode of Mythbusters, 
I'll be able to uh, kill some time. I'm not sure what else to do with you guys today. Um, because I have to do those two. Videos that corrupted. Um, for kid missing. Oh, I'm in the library, and I get a phone call that comes up. Kid missing radio. I thought, hmm. You know, there aren't a lot of people that have that number, so who's calling me at that number? So what happens if you call me at that number? Is it goes to my cell phone, and then it comes up as kid missing radio. So. I answered it. And it's a foreign sounding lady asking me about they're telling me she's from Customs and Border Patrol. Customs and Border Control. And I'm like, okay. And she said, Do you have a package coming from Mexico? I said, no. I know this is all baloney, but I didn't give her any information. And so I said and you have called my radio show. This isn't your uh, 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 regular number. I mean, she just seemed really nervous. So it was really obvious it was a scam. Not that it wasn't obvious for a moment. One, that it was a scam. And uh, And um, I said, no, you've reached my radio show. This is the phone number you called to be on my radio show. She was obviously very upset. Because last thing a scammer wants, and I could have hit four and recorded her at any particular time. And it would have told her she was being recorded because it's a radio show. <clears throat> but I didn't do that. It crossed my mind, but I didn't do it. So next time you want to scam someone, perhaps not calling a radio show would be a good idea. For the missing, no less. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> i got to post that one on my Facebook. That'll be fun. Um, and this book should be interesting. Oh, and this guy's from Chronicle. That's cool. Um, so yeah, and I have to email that letter with my my credit union's letterhead to um, Direct Express so that hopefully letterhead so that hopefully they will. Um, Can um, actually make a deposit from them to my checking account. Anyway, that would save me a lot of grief. But they said they're not allowing it to happen because they don't have proof that that's really my account. Okay? So yeah, that's what I've been up to. It's dark in here. I do like having my uh, desk right next to the light. Um, I think I'm only going to do these two videos today because I have to do those other two and get those edited as well as these. So, you know, and into my April folder. So, 
I will see you tomorrow. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to the Historical Society, and we should have an unboxing. It's going to be about four items in the box. So, matter of fact, I will... Um, go over to the post office in the morning if I need to. But Bob's been going early, so. It is hot. And believe me, that's a good thing. Wow, it's 72 degrees. Like I said, I'm going to eat. I'm going to watch an episode of Mythbusters, and I'm going to go try and deal with my cardigan, and hopefully pay my rent. I'm going to be so mad if that doesn't work. So, got oh, actually, I've got an hour and a half to kill. So, I mean, I can look on my phone and see exactly what time we, I was talking to the lady. How long was the call? And it doesn't show. No. Okay. So I might be able to now. I don't know. Um, I think it was more like one thirty. So anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm going to go watch Mythbusters and eat because I'm starving. <laughs> Bye, guys. God bless you. Everyone.